Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of Marine Learn's game development. Yeah, catchy title. Maybe I'll come up with something better later, but not right now. I'm too tired right now. I just want to make this first video showcasing my current skill set and where I'm at with Unity. I have been playing with it for it's on and off for about a year, but I haven't really gotten too in-depth with it until like last week when I started. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get started with that. So here we are in Unity, and as you see, I actually have some sprites on the screen. I'm currently using the Sunnylands Asset Pack because it was free and I'm broke. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description down below to it. It's the most common one I've seen everybody use in all their tutorials. It's why I used it because it's simple to follow tutorials when I'm trying to figure stuff out. So far, I've managed to get my player character to move left and right and to jump with some basic animations. Uh, it was difficult. I have no clue what I'm doing. But yeah, let's see how... Oh, I'll show you how it's running right now. Well, that's not supposed to happen. One moment, please. Yeah, here's the problem right here over at this area that says gravity scale uh i had it set to one i'm pretty sure that's supposed to be set to zero for the platforms that way the platforms from a little guy don't just fall through the screen let's run this with the change and see what happens now I, they, they stay that's fantastic okay he currently doesn't run i know what that problem is because i keep forgetting to actually change and save this over here in this area, labeled movement speed, I have the default set to 0. The default should be 10. He runs best at 10. Let's make that change. And yes, he now runs. Uh, and jumps behind the platforms. Okay, yeah, that's another problem I'm going to have to figure out too. But the things I'm really proud of right now is one, this little jump animation that he's doing. That was... Really difficult to program for me. I, again, don't know what I'm doing. I had to try to learn how to use animations in the animator here, which was a pain for me. But I figured it out. And I'm going to have to look up about 800 more tutorials to remember how to do it again. But yeah. Uh, he runs. Uh, I got the... Damn it. I got the background to follow him, which I was proud of, and created this invisible wall. There's a collider here that he's running into. It's great. And I got the camera to follow him. Really easy. I just took the camera and dropped it into the player character and made the player character the center of my screen. That way the camera doesn't do any weird stuff and flip-flop my character from left to right. I just realized these tiles over here at the bottom are different. Uh, I need to change that. There, yeah, this is going to be the final game I make. This is just me tinkering and experimenting and learning in Unity. I don't. I'm not going to use any of these sprites for an actual game. This is just practice. Because if I don't practice, I won't remember how to do anything. I gotta. I, repetition is the only way I remember stuff like this. I figured out. He was just running through the platforms, and I figured that out. I turned them into solid objects in, in the game. But, uh, I got a new problem. The game fell sideways when, uh, I ran him into an object. He, he, yep, yep, like, that's not supposed to happen. Why, why is it hap- Oh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. Okay. I don't think this is how this is supposed to work. Game development. I'm a programmer. Uh. Yeah, so, so that's my skill level. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I mean. It's. I got, I got. I got a sprite to do something on the screen. I'm happy about that. So, that that's what I'm working on right now. That's where I'm at. Uh, very basic stuff. There's a couple of things I've done that I was very proud of myself for, and I'm going to showcase them 
right here, right now. So one of the biggest things is I was having issues with the controls. Uh, aside from what you just saw. The big thing was the space bar because I, I used someone else's tutorial to build this bit of code here for the jump and player movement because I don't know how to do that at all. So I followed the tutorial, used the code, put it in, and it was all hunky-dory. He wasn't moving with the keys I wanted to. I didn't want to use the space bar to jump. I wanted to use the arrow key because eventually I want to add something into, like, like attacks and stuff, you know? And I want that to be space bar. Uh, attack with space bar. I wanted the up arrow key to be jump. Well, I managed to figure it out on my own down here where it says key code dot up arrow. I googled which code which, which part of the code I googled how what was tied to the up arrow key in unity yeah I don't know what I'm trying to say but anyways yeah I got this done I managed to figure out where I needed to put that piece of code put that piece of code in there now the up arrow key is my jump instead of the space bar very proud of myself on that one also, this code, when it was written the first time, he had his movement speed tied to his jump. This is actually jump up here. I just haven't changed its name yet. But I ended up adding this line of code here and managed to get it serialized so I could change it in the Unity Editor itself and change the variable down here because that's a variable. Uh, I'm learning things. But I changed it in the code to movement speed movement speed so i can control how fast he runs instead of controlling how fast he runs and jumps at the same time because before with the way the code was written he let me go back to face gamer yeah before with the way the code was written he would run and jump and he would linger in the air with the jump for like way too long and i didn't didn't like that so i was like how do i fix this i went into the code and I'm learning how the code actually works. By looking at it, I can see what parts of the code does what. Uh, especially with the green annotations there that tell me what part of the code does what, thank God. Uh, yeah, that was, I managed to get it to jump. Now I gotta try to figure out how to get, you know, him not to be sideways on the screen. Well, that's a problem for another day. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with where I'm at. It's only taken me two weeks to get this far. Yes, I'm not learning very fast, but I am learning. And it's fun. It's a good time. Now, we'll go into closing statements here, I guess. I don't know. I'm not good at talking, if you couldn't tell. So, closing statements here. I got a guy to move around the screen. But, I got a lot more to learn before I can get to the game I actually want to work on. Uh, I have a couple of ideas as I stated in my previous video. The one I think I'm going to try to focus on is a simple platformer. And the idea I have is you have your little player character. I'm going to have to make the sprites and stuff myself because I'm too poor to hire anybody else to do that. Which I'm not an artist so it's going to be very basic. I'm thinking a stick figure because I can animate a stick figure. I think. I hope. We'll see. But, you're going to have your little stick figure, and there's going to be a, a torch that he has to get to. And he's got to run, get to the torch, grab the torch, and then take that torch to, I'm thinking, a lamppost. And he's got to light that lamppost. There's going to be a timer I want to put on there to make it kind of a fast-paced type of platformer, you know? Uh, he, he, maybe slash puzzle game? I don't I'll figure that out when I start when I get further. But the main premise of the thing is the light's going to be dying in the lamppost. So he has to get the torch to cut the light back on to beat the level. If the light goes out before he can get there, well, that's game over. And that that's where that's where I'm at. That's the main idea I have right now for that. I got a sprite I made earlier because I'm learning how to do pixel art now, I guess. 
or I'm actually learning how to steal pictures off of the internet and put them into like real life pictures from like furniture advertisements I guess that's where I got the lamppost from anyways uh, throw them into a pixel art program online and turn them into pixel art without me having to actually be an artist because well I'm not an artist so yeah there's that but that's that's my idea for the game I'm gonna be trying to make once I figure out how to fix some very simple issues with the whole world flopping around sideways I think I remember how to I know I I know around about what's going on with that I've seen a tutorial on something about that we'll find out anyways thanks for stopping by listening to my rambling and watching me struggle and you know learn unity goodbye